great speech, Sean. Way to get us. <laughs> hey, man. I do what I can, baby. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Jeff, Frankie, and Sean back here again with you after another two week hiatus. The two weeks or three weeks? Two. Three weeks. Three, two, two, two. one, go. <laughs> Podcast magic, boys. Podcast magic. Oh, do we start? Yeah. Hi. Do we start? Oh, we're starting? Hi. Hello. How, are you? how is how are everybody? You? Hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you guys doing? Good. Jeff, Jeff's call, Jeff's a, uh, straight from Coronaville. Super live. high the quiet guy. Recording live from Coronaville. Coronaville. Jeff's in a, an outbreak household. My lady's got the COVID. So, laying low, keeping the doors tight. So, we can honestly Bubble. say we know someone who has COVID is still alive. Yeah. It's got to be the craziest, scariest thing, though. Like losing smell and taste and stuff like that. That would I, really, that the smell and the taste thing would either really help me or it would hurt me. And the way I say that is I could change my diet completely if I can't taste anything and just go and just eat. start eating greens. Just I eat. never had vegetables and greens yeah. my whole life, but this is the time. No, I mean, I eat that shit too, but I'm just saying I, I could fucking eat tofu. It's probably got to be a blessing, though. She doesn't have to smell Jeff's fucking nasty ass anymore. There's plus Chris, sides, I'm I guess. Alive. You got to look at the glass half full. Well, that's, yeah, that's all the symptoms she has is can't taste, can't smell. But she's getting her smell back already. That's legit. So, Thank God. The worst Prayers. part is we had to pull our kids out of school. So now they're being homeschooled by idiots for the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Just frightening <laughs> ideas right there. Be like cucumber spelt with the letter Q. Q. <laughs> Q-umber. Q-cumber. Q-U-C. Oh, man. And my daughter is just starting to make progress, you know? <laughs> oh, no, she's pretty school. quick. Yeah. She'll, tell, she'll tell you right what she wants to tell you. Fuck off right away when she doesn't want. I seen a funny meme that had... Uh, Got, oh, the school, the teacher sent an email to the parents saying that uh, their kid was going to be transferred over to the special needs kids. And it's the parent, like, with this scared look because he's been doing the homework for the kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... See, Bella is the kind of kid that will yell... At the teacher, be like, "No, nah, you're wrong." She, My mama says, "Yeah, <laughs> she, she'd Bobby Boucher the shit out of it." Your mama is wrong. I'm a no, wrong you you kid. wrong, Colonel Sanders. Sorry, I just uh, a nice kid. I just saw a picture of uh, Bobby Boucher and Vicky Valcour and their tractor at the Sonic. They're doing good still. <laughs> Dude, that, that's a rough day. That, oh, the meme war we had last night was of epic proportions. Oh, for sure. I literally was fucking laughing for two, three hours straight. Just Frankie, emptied his, meme. Frankie emptied his goddamn phone out all over the phone. I had a lot of them stored up. You were just waiting for that perfect meme battle. You're like, I'm ready, like, motherfuckers. Start throwing some shit down. Watch what happens. Oh, Frankie, Frankie blew his proverbial meme load all over us last night. Oh, no. I have a problem, though. See, I get a little bit too excitable. You know what I mean? I start rapid fire and just pop, 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 like six in a row. Like, I got to, you got to, you space them out a little bit. But I just throw them down like spades. Boom. Yahtzee. Is that what you say? Boom. When you I blow do. load? I'm here alone. I'm sending it. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. 
That's exactly that's that's the noise I make when I come. <laughs> Boom! Boom! Yeah. Do you guys make noises when you're alone? <laughs> I mean, are you, do you are you silent alone? Do you not make noises? He's got kids, I, I man. He's got to be quiet. When you're, <laughs> yeah, when you're making love, you know, you can get wild, crazy. Oh, I, I'm just saying, you know, when you say it alone, I'm, yeah, but I'm so texting what you. you right, I'm texting so you like, memes. I'm not. I mean, when uh, you I'll, beat I'll, up by yourself, are you quiet? <laughs> you, know, you, just, you don't want to scare them. I don't know. That's a good question. I've never thought of my my noise or surroundings. Yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're fucking my hand so good. Great job. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> but if I'm alone and I'm sending you a text or something, uh, or a wait picture, a minute, why are you I, 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 I might yeah, be texting. Why are you texting text? and beating off? I'm not. I don't know how you got on the beaten off. I was talking about the the war last night, and I was texting you what? guys shit. And you want to about beat off? He's talking about beating off silently, and you're talking about sending text while you're beating there. off. When I'm, it started out when you're alone. Are you silent? That was code <laughs> for beating off. Oh, I when you're alone. <laughs> I mean, shit, I, I'm alone a lot. I, that doesn't mean I'm constantly beaten off. Last here, 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 here's the question. Have you ever got Have she you ever got the does. the what are you doing text oh. while you're in mid-jerk? <laughs> it's like, oh, you could have hit me up 10 minutes ago. Do you really want to know what I'm doing right now? <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying, like, those those booty call texts were like. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. At midnight. You know, like. like Timing. You put those pictures on your phone for when people call you. Yeah, that'd just be the worst. Like you're grandma. Off and it's like picture your grandma. <laughs> Grandma's incoming call from grandma. You're like, ah, oh, fuck. Well, no. So what's worse about that? Your sweet face. I don't have that. Yeah, but no. What's worse phone. about what's worse about that is if right before you're gonna pop, that's when the call comes in. So you're oh, <laughs> you're no. finishing. While you see your grandma's face, that's the rough. That's the rough. That's the rough time. I'm sorry, I'm here any longer. This it. couldn't did happen. You see, did you see how Sean got like? Yeah, but what if you? <laughs> <laughs> so my cousin. You know, this is a conversation I thought we were gonna be having. Yeah, come on, I, so my cousin, right? Started smiling. Let me tell you this one time. So my cousin was on a plane, know, right? Man. And the hydraulics went out. And the hydraulics went out, and the plane started going down. Well, did you finish? <laughs> so he just pulled his dick out and started beating away. And then everybody oh, else oh, around him true. took cue and took their. Are we not having the best 2021 of movies? Is there not going to be like 36 good movies that come out in 2021? No. I can't wait for this year to be over. What do you mean? No. Came out. Mulan no, came out. Year. You can buy it for like twenty bucks on Disney Plus. I'm pretty sure Fast and the Furious 13 came out a couple years Mulan. ago. Was... Mulan can catch me on Disney Plus watching it for free December 4th. <laughs> oh, man. got the count. I agree. And everything just. <sighs> I agree with that. Many minutes. The only movie I have paid for so far is King of Staten Island, and it was decent. Paid, I think. Did we ever figure out what Frankie does when he's alone? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, here, how about since we haven't been that, on in a while. Is right, that what's on your mind is when I masturbate? You want to know more details? Yeah, dude. Are you, you an overhand or an underhand? Do you talk to it? Do you psych it up? The, ready, little the buddy? Quiet guy, the super high quiet guy. Ready, little buddy? <laughs> you ready, go champ? Oh. Uh, Better start sucking some blood down there. Get ready. This is, this is, I was hoping yeah, our viewers came ready. for a better conversation than Jeff sneaking to me. Everybody wants to know what beat off I sounds you make. I both of you guys, you know? I just oh. want to know that you're beating off properly. I love you my friends. Sean doesn't have any socks on. That's all you need to know. <laughs> sock free, baby. What, End of story. What if he has a sock around it? No. <laughs> like, no. No. Like, are you an ankle guy or are you a tube sock guy? I'm all just the saying. tube sock fucking souls that have been sucked out of those poor little things. 
Just <laughs> yes, shot too many you guys got some now he fucking can't even come issues. When he's got them on. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The Nike socks are better than the Reebok socks. What's your favorite sock to blow a load? Adidas. <laughs> Adidas is where it's at. Hanes. Mm. Hanes her way. <laughs> So it's not as gay. You're yeah, just, it's not as gay. You're, you're, <laughs> you're nothing woman. in a woman's sock. <laughs> I just think they're more comfortable. Did you put it back in feet, the drawer? But, you know. <laughs> now she knows why her toes are sticking together. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'm going to borrow a pair of your socks. Nah, you I don't mean, want to do that. No, no, no. Nah, just, just wear your old ones. <laughs> Flip them inside out. <laughs> <laughs> Get another three oh, days on them and you flip them inside out. Right? Like, you, you, you've never gone on a bender in a weekend? And oh, that's the worst the feeling. Shit. Socks Jeff's on for two king. days straight. Ugh. Just the king of going up on a trip on Friday and then going home on Monday in the same outfit he went up on. <laughs> You're like, dude, did you change? Nope. Not once. I'm just driving back. Why waste another outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Gets in the shower and you can just ring around the tub. Uh, rest in peace, Chadwick Bozeman. We haven't been able to say that. Yeah, that's crazy. I couldn't believe it when I seen that. I'd like to throw out a RIP to everyone in 2020. Jesus, this has been the worst year. Yeah, Bob Rorman just died. Ever. Bob Rorman. Yeah. See, no one that listens to our <laughs> podcast Knows. in any other, uh, any other area than what we live like in. Brazil? Has. The people in Brazil right in now. In Brazil? They don't, they're, not, uh, they're not up on the Rorman. No. They don't, they don't know. He wasn't on national news. It, he was like, you know, every... Every area's got a car dealership guy that's always on. It used to, it was Bob Rorman and the Rosen guy for us. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. Save me a fistful of dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna whistle like when you made me laugh. Where you could save a fistful of dollars. Uh, Rosen. Uh, that was a shows. Oh God! What did I see? For uh, I thought this was a great ad. Well, I don't remember what I was watching on TV, but there was a, a Pizza Hut commercial, and it's old school, like infomercial, where it's yeah. like, "Call now, you can get the." P-, and it's got the number on the screen, like the payments on the side, one payment of like. Nine ninety nine or whatever it is for the fucking pizza nowadays. I thought it was one of the best ad things I've ever seen. It totally made me feel like I was back in the nineties. Like <laughs> I was like, oh god, this is the greatest advertisement ever. Greatest night of my it's life. Like, it's like it makes you happy because you really don't see those anymore unless you're up flipping some channels at three a.m. Yeah, no, I don't do commercials. Oh, I'm trying to think. Who, who, Ludo Ludo Olson died. Who was a basketball Stop coach? Of depressing people who passed away. I'm just talking about this week. <laughs> I know it's it's ridiculous. Like an insanity. I'm looking forward to more exciting things like the NFL starting next week, oh. Thursday. Oh. Watching a little bit of some playoff basketball. You know what? I stopped watching the playoffs. So did I. But it's. Watching that game last night with you guys, I watched literally five minutes of it, and I, how, how is it? I was it? so happy about that game last night. Lakers losing, I couldn't. Well, that's fine, but just it's not really there was Lakers. I'm a, I, there was I like, like Lakers. fourteen fucking fouls in a two minute LeBron. span, and LeBron know, fucking and LeBron fucking tackled a guy, and they almost called it the one ref called a jump ball. I know. It's so funny. he fucking <laughs> form tackled that guy, like oh, LT in '86. They fucking I think just pounced on him. Fucking Puma. And just fucking tackles a guy. No, no, no. That's not a foul. Ah, jump ball. Like, ball. like jump ball. What the fuck are you talking about, jump ball? 
I don't know. Jump ball. <laughs> Come get it. Jump. I just, I mean, you know what's going to end up happening. I mean, I, I mean, I guess you don't. The Heat are beating the Bucks, so. Well, because Giannis is Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen came out and said it. Yeah. Can't win a championship so he unless play. he has someone else with him. He needs one more guy. Uh, I still think, though, he they should be able to beat the Heat, but the Heat have had their number all year. They're up 3-0. But Giannis is hurt. I don't know if you've seen him roll his ankle. It was so bad that he didn't even try to fall on it. He just fell straight on the ground. Like, <laughs> he picked his both feet up out of the air. It was like, I'm not putting neither one of these down. I'm just going to fall on the y'all. But oh, straight down to the fetal position. That's a bad roll when you get one of those. <laughs> yeah, it's a rough time. So we'll see. I, I don't think that he's going to be able to overcome. And the Lakers, they should definitely dominate and win this championship. But it's I still want to root against LeBron because I hate him. LeBron Giants. Such a beat off. That's how you really feel. I fucking hate him. I really do. I just think <laughs> he's such an asshole. He's such a fucking bitch. Like, in, the, in his platform, too, like, you could be in so much different visions. And I know there's a lot of people that love him and stuff. But, like, just I feel he should just be better, better role model, a better, a better player. I mean, he play. if you were to ever say – anyone like flopping or like all oh, who sucked in, in the NBA, like doesn't cut it to like what the, with the rest of them, you're going to say LeBron. Kobe played hard. Jordan played hard. I mean, LeBron does not play like those guys. Sound like Never an did. old man. That's my dog. He's getting old. It's official. I guess. <laughs> Welcome to the club. I just, I, Get off I my stand. lawn. Michael Jordan. And, the, the fact, though, that he is so big and athletic and dominant that he could, but, like, when you go to the lane, just fucking throw it down. Don't throw your arms in the air and try for a layup. It's just play hard. And it's always never his fault. It's everyone else's. But be a leader. Take the uh, good with the bad. You know, the bad with the good. Either way. I don't know, win a team with a bunch of mediocre fucking cheese dicks. I mean, I don't think so. He's the only player to ever put super teams around him. (laughs) Like I said, win a game or win a championship with a bunch of mediocre cheese dicks, and then we could talk. Yeah, but that's, I mean, since obviously he couldn't from when he was young, since he, what, four years in the league, he's been building super teams for the last decade. So, Hell yeah. since he was 22 or 23 years old, he's, what, 30 fucking five? Well, you know, so. you know, we always talk about the super teams being built, but, like, if you look at the, what was that, the 95 Magic, when it was Shaq and Penny and Nick Anderson. I yeah. mean, but that was, but, see, everybody will be like, oh, that was kind of a super team. No, it wasn't because they drafted and built that team. Exactly. They, I was going to say, a GM built that team, not a player. Didn't say, I, I got it. Let's team up, guys. Let's uh, go. Let's take our talent. Hey, Jerry South. Krause, calm down. An organization right. wins championships, right? Not a team. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but what I'm saying is that organization put that team together. Those players didn't call each other and say, let's make a big hoopla and rent out a hotel and say that we're all going to play together and then go on a run. Teams didn't do that. Now, I, I hear you, as much as Jordan was amazing, Jordan didn't ask for Pippen. He didn't say, go get him. Go trade the Sonics for Pippen because then we'll win. A GM did that. No, it was frankly, his vision. we're not arguing the point. I understand. I know you're not arguing. I'm just saying that's <laughs> I'm the just point saying, of LeBron. Right now. No, I'm, not, I'm just saying just... that's the point of why I hate LeBron so much. Because he's not on a team. What do you think? What do you together. think of Kevin Garnett? I mean, I think he was a good player, but after losing for so long, I get it. I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not opposing trying to go to a super team after you've tried for so long, and maybe you didn't get your ring like Carmelo. I don't have a problem with I'm him. But you know what Carmelo did? He played in New York for the longest time for his fans, for his team. 
and didn't try to be like, I'm going to follow somebody. I need this and this person to come follow me. He played his lane, made his money, and now, I mean, he went to Portland. I feel like they had a chance. That was a good team. But obviously they got worked by the Lakers. Timberland, the Timberwolves were one player away. Look good. Were one player away when they had Marbury. You had Marbury and Garnett. All they needed was one more guy. Have Joe Smith? They could have, <laughs> you know. No, they need. They, I'm by that. I mean, like a shooting guard or a small forward that could hit threes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Play the wing. Because you had Garnett yeah, I, dominating when Garnett was, first came in the league. That kid was fucking amazing. Yeah, I mean, but like, look at even too, like the Spurs and shit. Like, Duncan was an amazing player. He couldn't do it alone. But you've seen guys that got built into that team. He didn't say, "I want to go." You know what I mean? Another player didn't want to find people. That's coaching, bro. It's coaching, right? It was the organization bring, bringing the team together, and they became as a unit. No matter what, they fought together. LeBron's never done that. And that's why I don't have the respect for him. Because think about it, they got the number, the Spurs got the number one pick, and had David Robinson still. So you put David Robinson and twin, you know, the twin towers, David Robinson and fucking Tim Duncan together. Then you added fucking Manu Ginobili and Tony Parker and Kawhi. That's a good squad. Yeah. Kawhi really developed. No one, you know what I mean. And he was quiet about it. That's why I always liked him too. But Sean Elliott. Remember Sean Elliott? Yeah. Sean Elliott and guys like Sean Elliott and Robert Horry never got enough fucking shine. Horry. Robert Horry has Why what? Why you say it like that? Horry? Robert Horry has Horry. what, like 10 What's championship he? rings? Why are you saying it like that? Saying what weird? Robert Horry? Robert Horry. Horry. Robert Horry? Yeah. It has an H. It's Robert Horry. <laughs> no. That. I'm not going to even try to pronounce shit. You're not going to try to pronounce shit? You sounded pretty good pronouncing it. Shit. It. <laughs> ta, shit. Shit. It, ta. Ta. Pretty sure it's shit. It. Two syllables. Shahit. That's the only way I can get Bella to learn how to spell some swear words. Because <laughs> then she gets interested. What's that say? The shit. It says shut the fuck, fuck up and go to shit. bed. That child. My daughter. Just you could bottle that energy. I know she's doing like the the cabbage patch for like a fucking hour in the kitchen. It's back and forth, back and forth. Oh, sweet Jesus. I never had that much energy. You did. You used to. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you you, you did a lot. And a lot. Where do you lose it? Eh, when you're 50 pounds overweight, <laughs> start growing gray yeah. hair, you hate your job, that's <laughs> when it starts going. Yeah, when you, when you officially <laughs> stop giving a fuck. Yeah. When you stop trying to live up here and just start living down here. Dude, what do you what was the line from fucking uh Dodgeball? Hey, if hey, you don't mom. set any goals, you can never be fucking disappointed. <laughs> right? I'm trying to work as Well, yeah. like I said, Frank, you've been locked in your basement for <laughs> six months now. You should have been that how long it is? You should have been cock diesel by now and fucking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you working out, man. You should have popped out s- seven months in quarantine. I you should I, have. I feel, six I feel, I'm you should so be happy. I feel you should good. have an Your iPad. Your profile should be blowing up right now. Just stockpiling them. <laughs> you should have an eight pack. <laughs> I don't know about that much. I mean, I still am enjoying Two myself, extra. but. I uh, I definitely take- lost sixty pounds, and I feel like that was a good accomplishment. So sixty pounds is okay. I did. Yeah, I but you did that like in three weeks. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I stuck with it. It took uh, six weeks. 
to really get that off. And then I stuck with it through the summer, and I, I literally couldn't get under 188. I tried. I was trying, and I, like, plateaued. And, and now, after, and now know, I'm back up to that months of doing it. 260. <laughs> no, I'm only at two. If that, like, 195, 196. Oh, I gained, man. like, eight, nine pounds. Dude, you were fucking eating Culver's every goddamn day. Yeah, that's how you get to 260, and trying the, to gain weight. I know the way. And not, dirty yeah, Balkan, bro. Yeah, that was, dirty that Balkan, was the definition bro. of to, Dirty Balkan. Dirty Balkan. <laughs> that was the definition of Dirty games. Balkan. You know what doesn't hurt anymore, though? My back. My lower back was hurting a lot because my belly was so fucking big. And now I feel damn good. Feeling spry? I feel like I want to play basketball. <laughs> You better oh, throw about yeah, six knee brakes. braces on him. the brakes, bro. Six I, uh, knee braces you, and a couple ankle Johnny, braces. You working out and you doing this basketball? Just bump the brakes a little bit. Yeah. I yeah. mean, let me ask you a question. Like full, How many uh, squats were you doing in calf raises? Um, I don't do squats because I got a big old fat booty and I don't need a bigger butt. But uh, calf raises is more or less just like in between sets. I don't really do them like like. How many leg like, days wears, have you done? He wears high heels when he walks the dog. Those are his calf raises. Yeah. You ever try to go around the block uphill both ways, walking the dog in high heels? No, work my out. grandma did to school every day. In the blizzard, she told me. The swamp. <laughs> September first, blizzard. All the way yeah. to September 9th. 48 inches of snow each day. I remember it. Uh, I, don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a storm that was worse than the one when you were over here, Jeff, at my house. And the it was literally, we opened the front door and we had to take the I screen still, off. I have a picture. You do? <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you after we're done. Okay. What was that? It was uh, crazy. All the way to the top of the door, we opened the front door. The snow was stacked too, and all four of our SUVs in the driveway were completely covered in snow. Yeah, yeah that Just was the top. That was the like roof. ten years ago, like when it was up when my fence was covered. Yeah, it was fucking yeah. crazy. That was one of the worst storms ever. It was so crazy. I think it took us like eight hours to shovel out so you can go home. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was dark when you left, and we started at, like, 10 a.m. Oh, yeah, we didn't get much zombies. sleep either because we were playing zombies. <laughs> zombies all night. Was that Black zombie Ops zombies? Black Ops zombies. Ascension, bro. Pool table, boom, boom, room days. Oh, oh yeah. God damn, I remember that snowfall. That sucked. It was crazy. I'm going to say I don't, I really don't need another bad winter. Ever. Can just, we can just ride this downhill for the rest of the way. Yeah. 2020. It's to 2021. I'd be happy, man. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be much better. I think well, that someone said Mad Max took place in the year 2021. Yeah. Yes, it did. You can't wait, right? So I already got a uh, bunch of like shoulder pads and shit. I'm gonna make a nice fucking suit. (laughs) You gotta have your your tires gotta be on point. Ready? I've been stockpiling gasoline. (laughs) Just been siphoning it out of his neighbor's car, so everybody's like, "What?" Barrels in the garage of go juice. (laughs) Go juice. I've been looking for a 5.0 with a pro charger on it. <laughs> Trade you for some go juice. Mad Max stuff, man. Yeah. I just watched it with the with the kids the other day. Second yeah. one, Road Warrior. Yeah, the first one's not yeah. worth it's not very good. Doesn't hold up. It's it, yeah, it's good. I like it. Just the second one's so much better. Then Thunderdome came out. We don't need another hero. <laughs> that Tina, movie was like Tina <laughs> fucking Turner. Didn't even belong. Like, what's happening here? 
Was I'm that sorry, just like a cash grab? Yeah. Like, fuck it. Oh, 100%. That was like good. We'll do a third one. We'll do a third together. one. What's Tina Turner doing? Yeah. Tina, Tina Turner, you want to be in Thunderdome? Come on, Ma- like everything Master Blaster. Played out back in the day just for money. Squeeze that's, everything yeah, you can. Yeah, because they don't do that now. <laughs> that's my, I mean, my only I regret guess, in yeah. life. Of reason why I or like I'm sad about not having a kid is I totally want to do the Master Blaster fucking costume. Halloween costume. Halloween costume. And I need a little a little person to throw on me. So if I had like a five year old kid, I could do Master Blaster. God damn it! He's got the mind of a child. <laughs> sure you can go on like Craigslist and find a kid you could rent. What? Dude, I'm not talking about renting kids now. Dude, that you gotta uh, fucking erase that. I see shit going on. How yeah, dare you? Yeah, I'm just well. saying. Let's not let's not talk about party. any you weird stuff. Baby, if I see a Craigslist ad that said rent a child, I was like, this is a setup. <laughs> well, that one Chris guy, Hansen's he, coming to the house. Right. That put it on um what was it, Wayfair? With the names. It's like buy this uh yeah, this cabinet thousand dollar cabinet named John Jones. <laughs> John Jones cabinet. I didn't hear about all the Wayfair stuff. They yeah. were like smuggling kids or so, was the rumors or something? Yeah. Like well, yeah. The kids and some girl or some what and whatever found out and like blew the whistle. Like it's a $25,000 cabinet with this missing person's name on it. And yeah, there was like tons and tons of kids. Fuck. There was, there's all this. Sh- this news is so fucking sad around the world. Just be excellent to each other. Right. Oh boy, Bill and Ted. I didn't see that yet. E-E-T. That came out. Yeah. Any good reviews? E.T. Rotten Tomatoes had it hyped the shit out of it, but every th- everybody that I've heard that has seen it is like, this movie sucks balls. I'm sure. I'm still gonna I'm sure watch, that. but I'm gonna get high and watch it for sure. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> I'm allegedly gonna take a handful <laughs> of edibles and watch I that allegedly movie. Allegedly took some earlier. Well, that can't be confirmed or denied. Moving on. Who's the fifth? Huh? Huh? Fifth. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. There are so many amendments in the Constitution, (laughs) but I plead the fifth. I played the fifth. Uh, fantasy dress going on? What's up? Are Got mine tomorrow. Gone as one tomorrow. Frankie, you're out this year? The Frank- champion's sitting? Frankie backed out of the league this year. Well, I'm not going. Yeah, there's my other ones. Both the other le- leagues that I was in both canceled. And then I was a co-captain with Sean. And they're doing theirs tomorrow at the bar. And how I'm come not, they? How come they're canceling them if they're so football? Um, the league's not happening because the in both because, leagues that the ones that canceled the commissioners both just said they had issues with people. Some people oh, weren't paying up the money yeah. or whatever, and they're like sore losers. They lost and they owe two fifty still or something, and they're like, "Dude, what's up? I need this money to pay the winner, and oh, we'll fucking come get it from me." And it's like. Don't be why, why don't you? Why wouldn't you have everyone pay up front? So our league is you pay up front, and then that's like that the beginning or whatever the entry fee. And Transaction every trade fees you make. There's money that goes in the pot. It's five dollars per person, and then it's waiver wires, the ad drops that you do. So when you like add a player. For you know, to maybe all your bye weeks and stuff like that, you have to put two dollars in the pot for every player. Oh wow! Well, so you might do. You know, people aren't going to do it. Oh, every year everyone's paid. Well, that's how you make is... the money in the league. It's right. not just that's the entry. Like it's not just the entry fee. It's all the extra shit. Yeah, we do 150 a person, 10 people. That sounds it's like 1,500 dollars to start, but then it goes up to over 2,000 every year because of all the additive ad drops and trades and stuff. 
So it makes it just more exciting. It, it just makes it too that like people aren't trading like crazy. People aren't, um, right. you know, doing just ad drops. Like maybe you don't even need a player, and I do because my guy's on a buy. Well, if you're gonna pick that guy up to screw me over, well, you're gonna be putting two bucks in the pot, and it just goes like that. You know what I mean? Like, and then it builds it up for yeah. everyone else. So, but it's you know, it's and it's nice too. Like, and then the payouts on that one was first, second, and third. Uh, third got your money back. Second place got like five hundred, and then first place always got like seventeen hundred or you know whatever. So, but yes, I have won like five times. Maybe they just didn't want me to keep winning. Five timer. They're probably doing it on the side. They just told you they're not doing it. Hundred <laughs> percent. He keeps winning. Fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, that you know, or funny every time Frankie oh. makes a pick, he explains why he's making this pick. <laughs> well, that's another. That it is. I I kind of do because like a lot of people are like, I haven't been doing it very long. I've been doing it for like three or four years now, and. I've won pretty much like most of the championships that I played. And every time I draft players, people are making fun of me at my picks all the time. I can't believe this guy just drafted Lamar Jackson. What a fucking idiot. This dude's a running back. He sucks as a quarterback. I'm like, okay. MVP last year. It's like I, I picked these players. Mm. Yeah, except mm. our strategy in the league that we went in together. We followed your strategy and we got our asses, our shit pushed in. Yeah, mm. I. I uh, it, it didn't well, help we, that it didn't help. Been, we lost Tariq Hill and someone else. Say, we've been hindered by by a lot of injuries. Our starting tight end went down. Uh, Tariq Hill went down. Uh, Patrick Mahomes went down. I mean, we still had Lamar. Jackson we had Lamar though, able, right? Because he was still there all the way at the end, but. I think we took Lamar Jackson with our last pick in mine and Sean's league last year. So I couldn't believe he was still there. Um, but, yeah, and, and another big thing is a big part of my strategy was to go get tight ends because tight ends were the least valued or, you know, it's a high-value position, but there's not very many of them. And so there was really none. People would laugh. We had Noah Fant who was trash the first half of the season. Yeah. See, and then we had we had Hunter Henry, and he went down right away. And then we dropped him, and then his injury was only a few weeks, and he was back in the lineup, and someone picked him up. So then we didn't even have him, and that was an early draft pick of someone decent. But Tyree Kill and Patrick Mahomes going out was big. Didn't we have a running back that got hurt too? So no, we didn't have shit for running backs. I mean, we had Miles yeah. Sanders, and who didn't do shit till the end of the year, and then Josh Jacobs. Which I knew that kid was going to be a beast. Miles Sanders, I thought would have been so much better, but Gruden just is, works his fucking players like slaves. <sighs> fucking anytime he has a rookie, he's playing them five thousand snaps. <laughs> Four years, he's done with them. See ya, bye bye. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the Raiders do this. Year. I'm excited for just football in general. Excited for the. Tom Brady, skin all the people's the the Tampa right Bay Grunners. Predictions: Kansas City, Tampa Tom Bay. Brady. Tom Brady. The Tampa Bay Gronkineers wins his twentieth versus the Patrick Mahomes Super Bowl. Uh, I mean, is that that's probably got to be the the easiest and most betted? You know, actually. New Orleans has ha- got a better shot at winning the division is what the betting line is. Better record. Tom Brady's new team or his old team? New team. I think so. Bucks have a better record than Patriots? Yeah, because the Patriots lost eight defenders to the COVID thing. Oh, no shit. Yeah. They, eight starters? They had eight starters. Not. Fucking Dante Hightower, Patrick Chung. The That's list a goes big up. thing about this season because you can place a bet on, on like a week because I'm going to get more into now that it's legal in Illinois. I'm going to get more into betting this year and like placing, you know, just like actual bets. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even really see him. All I can see oh, is the this fucking here. dog is on the couch. I'm like, oh, he looks like a dead body. Stuart. I can't, I can't even see his camera. 
Oh my John God. gets up and his dog just flop. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh man. Yeah, I, I was. It is like you said. It's going to be crazy this year with all the people not playing from COVID and all the other shit. So. Yeah, I guess it's hard to tell, but that'd be a good. You know, Bill Belichick always comes with the, the heat. Yeah, but I think that is a team that is in a rebuild mode. But I mean, they still like got good players. They still are. Well, we'll see. Because now that I, I, like I said, I'm going to be gambling more. That's a big risk. Like you could be like, oh, the Bucks got this thing locked up, and then you could say Mike Evans and Tom Brady got COVID and they aren't playing, and you're like, oh fuck, I just laid it. You know, a couple hundred bucks on this team. The win Tom this Brady weekend. can't get COVID. You know who's going to have the worst record in the league? Um, oh, Dolphins. No, wait, wait, Jacksonville wait, 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 wait. Jaguars. Jacksonville Jaguars. Is it the tank for what's his name? Tank for Lawrence. They cut yeah. Mike Glennon today. Oh, wow. Old Shucks. neck. Old big neck. Old <laughs> Skycam Glennon. I can't believe they got rid of Yannick <laughs> and Leonard Fournette, though. I mean, they had play pieces on that team. They got rid of Calais Campbell. Right, they they got rid of Alan Robinson. Brandis. Allen Robinson. I mean, they've got they've had good players come through that team, and they just keep letting good players leave. I think they're trying to move season, though. This year, I'm excited for it, but I think it's even going to be weird with like no fans. Like that's the biggest thing in NBA. Like I, I feel like that brings a whole lot of excitement and hype to the players. They play harder when people are screaming. I wish they had video boards in Soldier Field for us for the fans. Cause I will sit on my computer and scream at it all day long. <laughs> yeah, Daggy, you son of a I've bitch. I've always said in Chicago, a lot of other stadiums do it. I loved. I would love to get a bear roar when they get a first down. They have it, dude. Big play or something. They have because it. Because there's so many teams, they don't have it. Yeah, they do. They were doing it all never last heard, year. I've never heard the bear roar. Did you go to a game last year? Uh, I'm trying to think. Did did did, I, did we go? No. No, oh, they have a bear roar. Finally, because I, I I heard they were doing second down noise, or whatever they were doing the sirens. They put an air horn in there or whatever air raid siren. <laughs> no, they didn't have a Ross horn, bud. <laughs> All right, people actually listen to this. <laughs> I felt like I felt like we were so in sync, and I <laughs> made my eyes vibrate. <laughs> no, I, I feel for the listeners. That was good, though. I'll, uh, I thought our pitch was good. Our flow was good. It was very. It was very well. good. John just wanted uh, to stop before he came. <laughs> Too late, no. I came as soon as you hit the first note. The br- it's the brown noise. It was not it's the brown, white noise. The brown, so- brown sound. <laughs> the jizz noise. The white noise. <laughs> the cream yeah, noise. You call it. The Here league comes was the white a- noise. Oh. Here comes the white noise, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds better. That's more gentleman than I'm gonna come. Oh, I'm gonna drop some white noise. <laughs> Comes the white noise, honey. <laughs> oh, that that sounds pretty scary too. I feel like. So, what would be your gentleman warning? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> gonna shoot. Warning. Usually, it's get down on your knees. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Open wide what for chunky. Your, what would be your gentleman warning? I'll give you a tap on the hat when I'm ready to go. <laughs> Turn around. Eyes up. <laughs> Fucking Frankie. Look at me. Eye contact. Direct eye contact. I need it. I need it or I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Just wide eyed as fuck. Look it into my soul. <laughs> We're connected. The vinegar like, strokes. 
I like to have that connection where it's a bond. Do you? Is that why you wear sunglasses so it can't see your eyes? I keep I keep my sunglasses on there. He loves that too. connection and that bond, and he just wears sunglasses the whole time. <laughs> he wears those sunglasses from the eighties that have the hologram eyes on them. So like, look into my eyes. She's like, dude, that's a creepy ass shit, man. What are you doing? <laughs> you got those those sunglasses that Emilio Estevez had on. Mighty Duck Man possible so. with the fucking <laughs> lights on it when he's cave diving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what you said on the side. Yeah, you when you go some deep sea king. diving, go down there. Pearl hunting. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a miner's helmet I'm on. Talking about this pearl. <laughs> He's wearing a miner's helmet. No, he's got to have his, yeah, his sunglasses have to stay on. Like, when you flip your hat, it's a switch. It's buying a oh, welder's yeah, mask. Right. <sighs> Great job, guys. Want to touch it? No. No one does. No. <laughs> I know this COVID. Six feet. <laughs> I did see a funny commercial. I think it was an axe commercial. It's like dudes getting back out there, trying to like go on dates and stuff. It's like they're riding a bike and he's got like a six foot long arm. He's getting dragged <laughs> around by shit. Yes, yeah, so the one guy's right arm's all jacked and shit. <laughs> oh fuck! It'll be a different world, man. Only twenty one. Dude, it ain't gonna be any better. <laughs> I, you gotta have some. You gotta have hope. Uh, you gotta be positive. Look something yeah. forward to. Otherwise, like George Michael said, you gotta have faith. Gotta have faith. Yeah, and he also got arrested for jerking off in a fucking bathroom in a park. Really? Yeah. You know these things. Wikipedia. <laughs> just like YouTube knows so much useless, dumb information. It's fucking just like that. Just like that senator that was super anti-gay it was tapping the guy's foot in the next stall yeah. next to him trying to get his dick sucked <laughs> and he, his his response to it was i have a wide stance when i shit <laughs> <laughs> oh that's uh, fucking great <sighs> play battleships <sighs> yeah or how about the senator well, whose last name was Wiener that was always sending dick pics? Yeah, Anthony Wiener. <laughs> That's just ironic. Don't you, you think, think, Atlantis? Just sending dick pics. <laughs> I mean, he didn't do it. He wasn't doing it as good as Brett Favre, you know, wearing Crocs, <laughs> cock shots and Crocs. I didn't see the photo, Sean. But let's see. I Give did not details. That's an old one, man. The Jen Sturger, who used to be a uh, reporter for in New York when he was in New York, sent her a dick pic. And he was wearing Crocs. You saw it? I did not see it. I the. Uh, you sure you didn't? No, I did not. And how do you know he's wearing Crocs? You because didn't see it because every report that came out was it was Brett Favre's cock and a pair of Crocs. What kind of Crocs are we talking? Shower, right. shower shoes. The original Crocs. That's how long ago it was. I want to know, did he have... Or were they just regular? Like, what color were they? No, the original... When, the when they first came the out. Strap forward? Right. Did he have it in four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive? <laughs> Didn't go that in-depth because I can strap? give a shit about someone sending cock pictures. Can we pull that picture up for our audience, Sean? <laughs> no. Pull it up for me. Please. No. <laughs> Google that Google shit on your own. <sighs> Do it yourself. Google Jesus. that shit on your own. I Brett Favre it. even blows his load into triple coverage. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what a nickel defense was. <sighs> uh, nickel. What are you watching, Sean? You look distracted. No, I'm not. I'm trying to think of uh, more things to talk about. What? Other than what we're talking about? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get off let's this. Give them something to talk about. Trying to get off this conversation as fast as fucking possible. Yeah, that's a good song. How's that go? Can you, can you, 
Jeff, don't you have a speech this week? How about love, guys? You don't have a speech? You've been doing it with yourself. We haven't done a podcast in two weeks. You tell me you got nothing to talk about. A lady's got the goddamn COVID. There's riots in the streets. NFL. We were trying not to talk about the riots. Yeah, we don't have to. It's just crazy time. A lot has been going on. Yeah, Kenosha's fucking crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. It's different when you see it in different areas, but when it's like... Close to home. Kenosha's home. right there. My girlfriend grew up there. You know, the kids' grandparents are there. Her dad's it's shop. It's crazy. There. Yeah, her dad's motorcycle shop is down there on the lake. It is still All standing. Boarded up. Thank God. Thank God. All boarded up. Still boarded up. But, yeah, he said it was fucking nuts down there. Yeah, I've I've pretty much refused to go out there. Yeah, when me and Dylan went riding last weekend, he's like, let's go to Kenosha. I'm like, I'm not fucking driving out there. He's like, let's go see what happened. All the damage and shit. I want to see what it looks like. I'm like, I don't want to get stuck in fucking protesters marching. And you want to know, and- you know what it looks like? Go look at pictures of Fallujah and fucking who? Fallujah and fucking Afghanistan. That's what fucking Kenosha looks like. That's crazy. Smoking piles of rubble. That's sad. And it's not from people that live out here. A hundred percent. I want to think about positive things like a fun football season. Positivity. I'm ready, yeah. Like I said, I mean, we tried watching basketball. Just It ain't the same. Wasn't doing it for me. And I used to love basketball. It's, cause be, it's because it's Once I so watched soft. James Harden go jibba, 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 pump fake, pump fake, jibba, 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 jibba. travel, three-pointer, miss. It was just, I was like, all right, I'm out. I'm out, bro. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. Like, some of the shit's dope, though. Like, some of the crossovers and the step-back dribbles and, shoot, you know, shots are nice, but. Yeah, I like the uh, end one, the mixtape tour, too. I can't, I can't stand when it's an entire game of that and when it's an entire game of let me run into this guy and try to go for a layup and get the foul. Just try to, try to actually just get the dunk or the layup. Oh. Don't try to get the foul. Oh, I've been watching a little bit of baseball. Ew. Oh, yeah, you're a White Sox fan. Mm-hmm. So you're probably enjoying the hell out of it, right? <laughs> Luis Robert, man, that kid is something special. He's hitting fucking 500-foot yeah, bombs. Special, you're special, too. 500-foot yeah. bombs and fucking... Can, he's playing center field, but it's catching every fucking ball hit out into the outfield period. How fast he is. I haven't, I haven't watched a single baseball game. When was the last time you did? Um, Probably when the Cubs were in the World Series. And after that? Yeah, we were zero baseball games. <laughs> I could tell you the last. I could tell you the last Cubs or last game Jeff watched. It was uh, Wednesday night because we were bowling, and that's when they won the fucking title. Yeah, that was it. Because we left because they went into a rain delay, and we got got home in time to finish mm-hmm. ourselves off. Wow! And then watch the rest of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sick fuck. <laughs> Damn! I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, you know, you gotta have time for yourself. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Take time for yourself. You know, when you get you just gotta time take job. time out for yourself. Take care of yourself. Right. If you can't love yourself, how can you love anybody else? It's true. Fucking heart wide open. Letting the love free. I'm here, guys. I'm here. I'm here for you. With arms wide open. Goddamn right. Under the sunlight. (laughs) 
Welcome to this place. Can we make a Christmas CD? Can we start laying down some? Yeah, time? I already, I already did the one week. <laughs> a never-ending Christmas cup. You don't remember this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm high a lot. You're high more than you're sober. Filled with jizz and tears. Christmas time is here. <laughs> <laughs> Does Frankie not remember anything we talk about on the podcast? No, he doesn't. I don't know. I'm usually pretty fucked up for I've him. I've been laying That's down. why I wear these glasses. glasses. I done told you. Butch, and then Butch Dixon might be on one of a couple of the tracks, he said. Well, let's, 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 let's start. We're still waiting on a new ad from same. Butch. Yeah. Let's start getting some lyrics written. I don't know. With all Bieber. this COVID thing, they've been and... busting all his Beaver Dam strip clubs. <laughs> It's hard to send out malt liquor when, you know, you deliver it yourself in the back of a 72 Ford F-150. It's crazy. All the nice bits inside her. It's just, yeah, we'll see. He's Dick's laying low because of the COVID, you know? He starts it up with a screwdriver. It ain't that nice of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> it starts. That's all it needs. Better than a truck that don't start. True. Very, very true. Get a beatbox. Biz <laughs> <laughs> Marquis. Oh, well, baby, you. Got with oh, me. baby, you. I want to go outside. What's up? You I want to go outside. Yeah, I do too. I want to go outside. I have a bunch of sticks to burn. Got a big uh, ass pile of brush I need to get rid of. All the fucking that bush. storms that we had fucking destroyed a bunch of trees. Bush? Got a bunch of <laughs> I got a bunch of it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Is that what you said? That's what Frankie said. <laughs> I said I had I'm fucking dying. I said I have a lot of brush. Would like to have a fire. A a fire bush. Yeah, I got yeah. it. So that's you're gonna have a fire bush. I'm just saying, when you put a brush together, isn't that like a bush? No. When you light it, fire. When does a no. brush become a bush? It it doesn't. <laughs> what about a shrub? A shrub is a bush. <laughs> when does it become a, a bush? Is it a shrub? Is a shrub a smaller bush? Yes. And then it grows to the bush. Yes. And then you trim the bush, and it's back to a so, shrub. Okay. <laughs> Knowledge. No, I told you. Dropping facts. Dropping so facts. Just a endless cycle of shrub the bush. What do you guys think if we put our money together and then we could retire? We put like. Maybe one of us down. could retire. Retire now? Yeah, we'll put ten grand a piece down, and we'll put it on Mitch Trubisky to win the Super Bowl MVP. If you put a dollar down, you'd probably win thirteen million. <laughs> Those are the odds. What are the odds Mitch makes it past <laughs> week one as the Mitch starter? Winning an MVP. Uh, like, bro, dude. I'd say he'll be a dollar down. down. I, got, I got a whole lot of money burning hole in my pocket. I want to spend. I can't wait for football just for the fact when they start playing, I can remember all the things that happened. Like who was <laughs> traded to whose team? Who's yeah, on dude, whose team? The Patriots. Right. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch a fucking Panthers game. Be like, where the fuck's Cam Newton? <laughs> Is he hurt? Well, Is he on the bench? It's Teddy Bridgewater's team now. Yes, it hey. is. See, I totally forgot about that. Right. You're gonna be super excited. I mean. I know. I, I can't. You remember so, Jimmy Graham yeah. is on the Bears, right? I Ooh. didn't until I saw a picture of him on their website. <laughs> I was like, Jimmy oh, yeah. Jimmy doing big things. <laughs> I forgot. Oh. We had the Jimmy Graham. Let's see, I'm pumped for uh, football in general. Not just the Bears, but all Thursday. of them. Thursday. Ready. Are you guys going to be on the line? No, I... 
I will yeah. be online when I get home from the second job. Oh. Uh-huh. So I we need this podcast to take off. We'll do this every fucking two days. Get paid. But Someone sponsor us, damn it. dreaming of that because that's not going to happen. In all honesty, we could have did podcasts every day since your ass was at home fucking all fucking winter all of the I'm, last six I'm months. Done. You could have did your own Each show. show. You did my own Each. show. But we told you to do it. Could have been on Twitch. I got a lot. I'll be working out a lot. You know what I'm saying? Fatty Daddy worked out a lot too. You know that movie, The Aviator, where that dude like locks himself in that room, and then he's got like just jars of Howard Hughes. Frankie's Howard Hughes. I remember, yeah, that's all I think about. Frankie's just got jars of cum all over his fucking basement. Yeah, bro, why do you think I get too long, bro? Bags of fingernails. <laughs> I send that into the research lab. Get paid. It's my only income. You got get one it. of those bank teller income. tubes from the basement. <laughs> we got a t-shirt that says yeah. that. income. <laughs> <laughs> Better hope the lids on that sample that you just sent through there. The <laughs> tube's going to open up and be a little squishy. Oh, uh, shit. Going not my car, not my problem. Just putting it out there. I'm Was just it? saying, you get a lot of money. For what? Jizz? Jizz. Not true. Yeah, I didn't think you got that much. No. Well, if you do it... 36,000 times, it adds up, all right? Dude, by the end of that, you're shooting just fucking dust. Do they (laughs) pay by the ounce or what? How do they pay you? Now, do they pay you? Is it just a uh, standard, like, you know, it's 200 bucks, sir, come in this cup? Or do you get paid by the court? (laughs) Court? If you're producing a court when you come, there's something wrong with you. I told you the medical experiments that they want to run. <laughs> Science. I don't know what kind of fucking you? vitamins you're these on. The, dude, these are the hard hitting questions. I still take the Flintstone chewable. How does a sperm bank pay you? That is a good question. Cash. Right. But is it just it's per it's deposit? Bucks whether you fill the cup up it's, or if it's, it's one per, drop? It's per deposit. All right. Are you Thanks. sure? So How I can save know? half for myself. Didn't you ever see the movie Delivery Man? With Vince Vaughn. Because it was in a movie. It's based on a true story. No. So it means everything's right. <laughs> no, a guy, a guy fathered like forty-five fucking kids from the sperm bank. Okay, so that's the basis of the true story. The prices in it, I don't think were completely accurate. How do you know? No movie. Uh, you're right. I, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> I love that. Not fair, the, though. At the beginning of the movie, when it says, based on a true story, I tell everyone, all right, now pay extra special attention because all of this actually happened. True. Every piece of <laughs> Everything that they say when they say that they're going to get gas for a dollar twenty nine, True. Mm. Pack of smokes? Two bucks. True. John's not even listening. He's watching the movie. He's done. He's like, what? He was sleeping, huh? No, I was wide, I'm wide awake. I'm just listening to you guys babble. Oh, is that what you call it when we talk? Yes. <laughs> talk I wasn't babbling. I didn't hear. Let me let these two babbling idiots go for a while. <laughs> Were you babbling? Babble, babble. Babble, babble. Babble, babble. Babble, babble. Babble, babble. Babble, babble. This is fucking depressing! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ, yeah. boys. Ugh. <sighs> Tell us a story, Sean. What would you like to hear? A good one. 
Remember, like, I don't know, eight years ago when right now we'd be up in the Dells? No, hit the fucking depressing button. No. God damn it. <laughs> Frankie. This is fucking depressing! <laughs> Frankie's stuck inside. He's talking about, you going to talk about the Dells right the now? The Dells? You're going to bring up the Dells? Think right about now? it. We'd be on the strip. We'd be yeah, coming back from the what? strip right now, 1.20 in the morning, hammered. You can get hammered right now. I'm, yeah, I'm hammered now. I'm hammered now. Just like I am hammered. What are you Make, talking about? Making pudgy pies. Ooh. Don't yeah. talk to a fat man about pudgy pies. Fucking depressing. Hit the goddamn button. <laughs> yeah, two is enough. <laughs> Budgie pies are one of the greatest fucking things, though. They're so delicious. Grilled cheeses in them, fucking pizza, pepperoni, and mozzarella cheese, and pizza sauce. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. I like pepperoni. I like pepperoni. You don't like pepperoni? I like pepperoni. Side. You know what? More of a sauce. You know what? A movie I watched in honor of Chadwick Boseman. What's that? Go ahead. I'll I'll give let you guys have a guess to start. Black Panther. Only no. movie I know he was in. Tell me. Forty two. No. But it was 43. a sports movie. I watched Draft Day. Cause he was Vontae Mack, the Ohio ah. State linebacker. Greatest football movie ever. Yeah, the most unbelievable football movie ever. <laughs> What it was mean, based off a true story, Sean. Story. No, it's accurate. <laughs> the whole thing. No, and I'll true. tell you why. I'll tell you 100 percent the reason why that movie's not accurate. Because there tell will never why. be a Wisconsin quarterback that goes number one in a draft. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. The University of Wisconsin will never have a quarterback go number one in the NFL draft. Never. Ever. What about in a parallel sure. universe? What about in the Umbrella Academy? Yeah. Still. No? Not once, not ever. Big Chug. Big Chug for a big man. Sean's been going around on Facebook, everyone, for shotgun challenges, all right? So be warned. If he shows up in your inbox, <sighs> keep it Sean's face in his inbox, you've been challenged to a shotgun off. He wants to show you pussies how it's done. It's 16 ounce guys. cans of fucking. What do you have? I had a 16 ounce Miller Lite because we didn't have Miller any 12 Light. ounces. Congrats to you, sir. It's gone very quickly. Yeah. I, you know, talent. It's about the velocity. Velocity time. I think you should start challenging listeners. Yeah. I don't think any of our listeners have the nuts enough to challenge me. Hi BJ Rate. Oh, Hi BJ. I feel like Hi BJ. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I I am willing to take on all challengers but just know yeah, you're going to get worked. All right, how are we going to how are we going to do this? You got to record it. Instagram. It's yeah, but how are they going to send it to us? Instagram, email, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter. There you go. I feel like I feel like me and Jeff should challenge you just right off the bat. You bo yeah, you both both started off. Both of you can't now? fucking even hang on a fucking shotgun with me. Don't even say that shit. Oh, really, fool? Next weekend. Confident. Shotgun challenge. I, John, you're going to have to record another one and post it to our I could, Instagram. I saved the video. I could put it on our Instagram. What are you beat I want off another to? one. No, dude. it's... Say I just it's just didn't delete it off my I phone. Fresh one. I want it timed with a twelve ounce. No, if we're gonna do it, you know, fine. I'll do a sixteen ounce to your twelve ounce, Perfect. and still beat you. He will. Probably. <laughs> he definitely will. Get some beer bogs out here. All right, so it's decided. Sean's gonna put the challenge out. I challenge all of our listeners. Whoa. To send in a video where, Sean? Tell us. To, uh, we can either go TGD Pod on Twitter, 
the underscore gentleman's underscore den on Instagram or the gentleman's den podcast on Facebook. Or send it directly to our email, the gentleman's den pod at gmail.com. You know what the fuck, fuckers? Email us. We want emails. Seriously, I, I welcome all challengers, but I know most of your vaginas are way too soft to even hang. So. Oh. We'll see. I'm just saying. I bet there's going to be so many challengers if anyone ever listened to this podcast. They would, they would take offense to that. <laughs> I, I'm trying to offend people. Please give us something to fucking believe in, folks. Easy, yeah, boys. Now that look, now you better look forward to the challenges. That's why I said it, Jeff. You fucking caught it. Uh, give me something to believe in. Can we play that as our ending song? No, we can't. <laughs> Instantly demonetized. We can look up the lyrics and we can sing it though, right? <sighs> yeah, well. We do. We should all sing it together in harmony. Should we try it? I feel like we were pretty good on the siren. This That's might, what I'm I, mean, <laughs> I think that is a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Fuck. Ing. Bird. Yeah. Sing. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, have you heard? Oh, Jesus Christ. Just losing it. Back your head shaking. She's going to buy me a mockingbird. <laughs> All right, I'm going to look up the lyrics to something to believe in. We're doing this at the end. I don't wait, I don't know the lyrics. Are we, I, something to believe in? Is that what you said? By poison. Yeah. It's not, I don't. I don't know how you just get lyrics. You just type it into fucking Google. Yeah. And it's, click on the thing that says full <laughs> lyrics. This bitch was listening. I knew it. What time are we at? Where are we doing? We're nowhere to do this. We gotta do it. We gotta do it now because we're at one this one is, hour and twelve minutes. This is the end. Oh, we are. We've Came to the end, my friend. What was I looking? Should we again? should we talk it or are we are we gonna fucking actually try to harmonize and sing it? Something oh, yeah. Right? Poison. This is great. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. You get to start it. I'm not even there yet. I'm still looking for Google. I didn't even know. Like, all right, <laughs> all right. Here we go. I got it. Are you starting with like, well, I, I don't even remember. on the TV. <clears throat> full lyrics. Where you at? Hold on. I need the full lyrics. Oh my God. How long does this song? I can't read all this. You know, I'm not a very, I'm, I don't read well. All right. I'm not a very strong reader. I don't even remember how this song went. Well, I see you on the TV. <laughs> no, he, it's Brett I Michaels actually. Brett oh. Michaels almost talks the lyrics at the beginning of the song. Well, I see him on the TV, on the TV. talking about the promised land. <laughs> you sound like he tells me to believe in Jesus, Jesus. and steals the money steals from, the money my, from hand. my hand. Some oh, say it. he was a good man. Lord, I think guys. he sinned. Yeah. You gotta bring it from your plums. 22 years of mental tears. Cries a suicidal Vietnam vet. Who no fought problem. a war on a forge shore? <laughs> Where the fuck you guys are at? To find his country didn't his want country. him back. Oh, didn't want didn't him back. back. Their bullets took his best friend inside. His best friend inside. I'm gonna apologize to all of our, our lawyers. Took there. his wife, his kids. No regrets. No regrets. Where is it? In a time I don't remember. In a war he can't forget. He cried, forgive me for what I've done there. <laughs> Cause I never meant the things I did. Ready, Frankie? One, two, Help three. Hey, give me some to believe in. Pastor Jeff. Oh, if there's a Lord above, <laughs> give me some to believe in. Oh, nah. 
This is probably the greatest podcast setting of all time. Uh, I'm welcome. telling you. I mean, we can always we can always start it with you know. I don't know. We know any Creed lyrics? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just been having a tough time. This is fucking VR. depressing. I'm glad we got to do this last night and then film this tonight. Yeah, because I just I want to go outside. I just can't. I feel like I've been you're in a bubble, locked bro. up tight. Bubble boy, bubble boy, bubble boy. Tighter than a, wolf, a dolphin's butt. I feel like I've been locked up tight for a century of lonely nights. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just waiting for someone to release me. You're licking your lips and blowing kisses my way. <laughs> but that don't mean I'm going to give it away. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> oh, my body said, let's go. You know? <laughs> Are we recording this? I have no I idea what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> Say no! I'm trying to say I'm a genie in a bottle right now, guys. You gotta rub him the and right I way. Want it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go outside! Uh, you turn this fucking podcast. <laughs> I'm I'm it With that being said... For Jeff, for Frankie, Fuck. I'm Sean. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Come on back next time for another fun-filled edition of The Gentleman's Den. And if you would go to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den and buy a t-shirt. We really, we really like that. You know, because also like subscribe and yeah like yeah, subscribe like subscribe and hit that little bell Sean, button on you the- don't do anything during this time just challenge sean you feel better about yourself what yeah huh i have no We're idea what frankie challenge. just said yeah, shotgun challenge, challenge. open challenge to anyone who thinks they have the nuts enough Hit us up on one of our socials. Bring your nuts. Because give, give Sean something to believe in, guys. Because you're gonna catch this work, and it's not oh. gonna be good. Once again, thanks for listening. We'll be back hopefully next week, but most likely another six, seven weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the way we're putting these shit boxes out. I got COVID, Here. dude. I got nothing else to do. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe you'll get another a tasty episode this week after the Thursday night football game. Sounds like a plan. Go NFL. All right. Bear Don. Bye, guys. Talk to you soon. Later.